Hi everybody, this is Nicole, your Freckled Planner here to do a flip through of my new paper storage from all of my kits that I have gotten. I think that I need another binder because this one is way too full. So I think I'm going to go get another one and just split this in half so it's not so full. But this is a two inch binder that I got from Office Depot and it matches my craft room because it's the light pink. I think it was like $12 for this one, but there are ones you can get cheaper. There are bigger binders you can get. They do have like the one inch and the half inches. First, I have my VB section, which is all of the papers from my Villa Beautiful kit. I put each page in its own protector and it has a seal on top. I don't know if you can see that but there's a seal there, it's called a secure seal. So if you're looking for this particular page protector, it's nice because if you pick up your binder and drop it, all your papers won't like fly out. So I really like this secure seal. I also got this from Home Depot, or not Home Depot, I also got this from Office Depot, but I didn't pay their price for it. I price matched it to the Walmart price because it's cheaper at Walmart. They also sell these on Amazon. So you have lots of options. And then you can also get the ones that aren't secure top, which I think are a little bit cheaper. So what I did was I put each page in its own seal so that I could see the front and the back because each back has its own decoration or own pattern. And then there are a few that I doubled up and the only reason I doubled them up was just to save protectors because they're vellum, so they're not double-sided. So I'll go ahead and flip through. I do save my scraps just in case. So I have all of my scraps in one folder or one seal here. And then if you're curious about these, these are the Avery tabs. You literally can just peel them off and then like that, you can write on them and then you can stick it right back on. So if you wanted to reorganize these, it's really easy. So I have all of mine separated by regulars and then these are the scraps here. And then now these are my Mommy Lay papers. And then I didn't have any Mommy Lay scraps, so then now I have my print pression papers. And then now these are papers that I got from Peachy Cheap. If you don't know what Peachy Cheap is, it's a website that has like daily deals and they have planner and regular craft sales of items. So this is one of the packs that I got and it's like a travel theme. So it has some florals in it and then the travel stuff. And then 
takes me to my TPS, my Planner Society papers. I have lots of Planner Society papers. some of the ones where it was like vellum or acetate and I just put them both in there because it just wasn't worth using the own separator for them. I have the planner society packs these are packs that I bought when they had all the paper packs on sale and I pre-ordered and then I just haven't opened them yet so I decided to just keep those in their own packs instead of breaking the seal on them so the whole pack fits in there flawlessly and then the secure top just keeps it safely in there This one is from one of the TN kits that I got that I haven't, I used some of it, but then I had another pack that I got from someone else. So I kept that in its own um, separator or page protector. And then these are all my Planner Society scraps. So that is my binder. Like I said, way too much in this binder. So I will for sure be getting another binder to separate it. But then when I want to use paper, I can just like flip through and then whatever catches my attention is what I can use. I do have a separate storage system for my like basic colors where it's like all one color, but this is currently what I'm using for storage for my patterned paper. Thanks for watching. Bye.